Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Lord of the Rings Online. This is Debats. Um, what you were looking at here is a skill called Inspire Bracket Shield Brother. Close brackets. Right? And it's red. Okay, which means that it does damage, right? It's an offensive one. Okay. Now you may remember a while back I was looking through um, some of the traits and, and whatnot that I needed. Um, especially having got a couple more or on my way to either or uh, legendary items uh, and uh, I happen to glance down at the bit which is to do with um, grouping you know what people in a group would expect you to have um, and one of them um, was called uh, let's have a look um, um, No, 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 it's not, it's not legendary, it's a class trait. Class trait. Right. Oop. That's it there. Deeds before words. Right. Inspire. 25% healing. So, obviously, in a group you want to do healing and such like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what level this comes about. It doesn't say there, does it? Yeah. But I had never used it. Right. And I, so I looked it up on the on the wiki and, and oh, it only takes 100 uses. Uh, that would be no problem whatsoever. Uh, wrong. It's a thousand. Right? Now, if I had used that as an offensive uh, skill, which I would have done had I listened to my own advice and noted the red ones. I've got a new red one there, by the way. Shadow's Lament. Um, then that thousand would have been done ages ago because it is capped, right? I, I can't remember what it is, but it's it's capped. So I can't get. I can't do that all in one go. And also, you have to be fighting and you have to be grouped with your thing. Um, so, yeah. So I'm working on that. I'm not even halfway through yet. Uh, I believe it. Anyway, th this is just a, a kind of recap of what I've been doing because you may notice I'm level 61. Um, I've I've gone a little bit forwards in the uh, epic quests. Uh, I'm on uh, chapter three now, uh, volume two, book four. Um, Yes. Uh, and certainly um, part of that reason for just going ahead and doing that and not waiting is because uh, it does open up um, some of the swift travel and, and even just uh, uh, basic stable master type thingies. Uh, so um, yeah, so the following is going to be uh, a little summary of uh, stuff that I recorded but couldn't uh, do the uh, narration at the time. Um, so uh, and then once that's done with. Um, we'll come back and, and talk about it. So don't worry about all this kind of stuff you see here and, and here. Um, we'll go back and deal with that. Alright, I will see you um, very shortly. So, narration time. Um, and I thought I'd go on a quick raid um, as, as people were offering. And also if you notice at uh, the bottom right corner um, that the um, the uh, my my level is very close to um, what is it the next level sixty <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so anyway I I'm, I'm very underprepared in terms of doing raids um, so th there it is a big turtle um, and I hope you noticed that the uh, the resurrection skills were not entirely adequate right there and that is important. Um, for later. Okay, so here we go, attacking the turtles. We've got a tank. Uh, the guy whose name is on his own in the middle there, ish, is the tank. Right? So the others are doing the damage and the healing, whatever, and I'm just there as a lowly captain. So, you know, blah blah blah, there we go. We're still fighting him. Everything's going alright so far, but suddenly this guy's health is starting uh, to drop. And one guy's gone. Uh, my resurrection skill has come up, which I've completely uh, unnoticed. <laughs> there it is. Um, so yeah, so you'll you'll see. You know, the tank is going down. People start asking for resurrections because they've uh, clocked the fact that I'm a I'm a captain, uh, and that's what I should be doing. And I've done you know I've done a little bit of this, but early on, predominantly in in when I was actually. Uh, playing this, you know, two years ago or something. So anyway, this guy's about to guy. The tank has now gone. He is now asking for a res. There you go. Coming up. There you go. Debats, please read. 
what the hell are you doing? And actually, they were, they were actually quite nice about it. Uh, because as you see, I, I, I will start searching around my skills to find out what, what the nurse is going on. I, I know I am able to resurrect, that's, that's what I do as a captain, right? So where the hell is the damn button? Right? And then I find one button, um, which uh, of the three I think I currently have able is actually there. One, uh, actually the, the one that I find is not usable in com combat, right? The one that flashed up briefly earlier is useful in combat, and the other one that I highlighted earlier in this narration is not there at all. Uh, and I do remember the icon, right? I, I remember what it, uh, it, what it looked like, so how it disappeared, I, I have absolutely no idea. But it did, so you know, what can you do? So here I am type, about to type, oh, sorry, I, I'm a noob, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so let's zoom in on that. There you go. And they were so sweet about it. I mean, they might have realised that it was complete BS and that I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but they just kind of assumed <laughs> that it was bugged. Which, of course, it was. Absolutely right. Well done. Very perceptive on um, So, yes. <laughs> So, uh, you know, things actually turn out all right, but I didn't quite do my job very well. But then, you know, lessons are there to be learned. And there I go, and I die. So we, we regather. Uh, I think a few more people turn up. Uh, some of the people swap their characters for a bit more sort of tankish type folk. Um, and we do all right. The, the turtle dies. I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's what happens. Um, and there it is. It goes in word. Um, yeah, so dead turtle, and I didn't, you know, I fully expected to level up as a result of this, but, but no, barely a, a smidge. There you go. See, <laughs> hasn't moved at all. So meanwhile, here's some footage of me actually leveling up to level 60, which, of course, I will record for your entertainment, because um, it's a significant part. And was the last time I did 50 or 54? I can't remember, but it's it's gone very quickly, I have to say. A lot of that is because of the uh, the Bounder Tokens buff. But there we go, ding! And also completed the Siege of Mirkwood, which um, effectively gives me a, a, a mail from Galadriel. You know, a personal... You know, I think I think she might be interested. You know, right? Um, yeah. So she sent me an invite to uh, come join her in in the trees, um, which I will do. But uh, that's certainly um, indicative of the fact that my my level here is perhaps a little bit too high for Moria. But it's gone so quick, and I really liked Moria. And I think the the size of it is comparable to um, yeah, the rest of Middle Earth. Uh, when you when you first start out. Anyway, here, Kazadum, here is the bridge. Um, and I recorded this uh, just because I thought it was a, a significant part, because obviously it's been broken and y the game sort of pretends we don't know how that happened, what's been going on here, but yeah, we all know, alright? We know who's to blame for that. Uh, okay, so there's a bad guy, we'll kill him. Somebody turns up and says, "Hey, hey, you're in trouble!" And look at the, look at this guy's health. But it just, you know, how annoying is that? It's like playing a me <laughs> or anybody who has any kind of heal skill. It's a, it's actually a great touch. But um, anyway, off he goes. Hopefully, he doesn't look back in my direction because what is about to happen is slightly embarrassing. Um, nice bridge. <laughs> Ooh, what do, what's here? Uh, let's just let's take a quick look at this. Ah! Oh dear. Uh, but I have to say, many greater and better people than me have fallen off that bridge, although they might have had better reason. So anyway, here we are, the back Lord at the uh, uh, reputation vendor who is going to give me this um, uh, legendary trait. Uh, which is a group one. There we go, I activate it. 
Um, so that that's that one done. Um, and I may well go back and just do off camera the chapter seven stuff, which is in Angmar, if you remember, because you know it's way below my level now. You don't want to see me doing that, you know? Really? Of course not. Um, so this is me fitting the legendary treat. There it is. You can see it. Um, uh, so it's all good, and, and I replace it with uh, for the shield of the Dunedain, which I never really used anyway. But uh, but also with with this trait, um, it, it seems to be activated once you sort of reach level fifty. You don't really level seventy. You don't really get uh, the powers that it enables until then. But because I don't really use the shield of the Dunedain, it's perfectly fine. I may as well. But you do see me here puzzling over that a little bit. But um, you know, it'll be all right. <laughs> it'll be all right in the night, won't it, Gov? Uh, so that's pretty much it. That, that's what you missed when I was um, recording without a microphone. Um, so I think we'll leave it there. I'll, I'll hand you back to uh, my good self, uh, speaking in retrospect. Take care. Goodbye. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, flashback. Um, I'm in the uh, the waterworks again, by the way, just because of this goblin runners, which are those little oxes that run around the uh, the tower around there. Um, so just to kind of recap, effectively, I guess um, what you've already seen. Um, uh, yeah. So level sixty one. Um, you know, um, I think for me Moria is kind of done. Really, all of these are like blue. I I, I think I might well do, just as a, a matter of. Um, uh, kind of set, setting some rules for myself and for this series is that um, any quests, unless they are epic, unless they're darker blue than that, um, then I need to. I need to really do need to <laughs> not worry about them because uh, um, you know I'm not getting the levels for it. Um, my items, uh, excuse me, uh, for which I predominantly did those missions, quests for. Um, are uh, since I have legendary uh, legendary items which are based on XP, they are um, you know they won't go up as much as they should, right? Whereas before it was kind of you, you know you had to do this quest to uh, to get this particular item, you know, which was worth it. But now I think you know I need to think about my levels and, and stuff. Um, uh, so that's what I'll do. So if you don't mind, you know, I, I I'm asking you most uh, most sincerely. Um, I would I would kind of do these off camera um, up to the point now where I think uh, Lost Lorien is about sort of the level that I should be at, and then Workwood and and so on and so forth. So uh, as soon as the uh, epics start becoming dark blue, then we'll come back. But otherwise, you know, most of the time, unless there's an interesting instance, um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. You know, I think that's fair. Uh, y you know, you don't want to see me defeat five goblin runners in the waterworks, right? I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, you want to see the cool instances, you want to see the link to uh, the books uh, and thereby proxy the, the films. Hmm? Okay, so the only other things really left to say is that my initial legendary item which was given to me through the Moria Quest is now maxed out at 40 and you can, you know, you can buy stuff from the Lord of the Rings Turbine store to increase that, but really now I'm using uh, this third one which I do actually have uh, equipped. Uh, there, yep, the green one, right? So I'm working on that now, and that goes to level 60, I believe. Level 60, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. There it is. Uh, highlight item, uh, icon. Oops. Um, so yeah, so that I, I you know, I, I take it that, that first one is really uh, just a kind of learning experience, and then you need to kind of work on what you actually find and earn and so on. Um, so yeah, uh, all, all good in the hood, right? Um, the only other thing to mention is the Bounders tokens has now been completed on this server. Uh, we got the, what was it, 1.7 gazillion uh, tokens, of which I contributed. Not an, an, an un, unfair or an unfair amount. Can't think of the word. Um, so yeah, but the, the statue hasn't changed, but I imagine that statue will change come the update on November the 18th, 2013, which incidentally is a day before the next Eve expansion. Rubicon. There's no turning back. Um, so yeah, exciting times next month. So, you know, this uh, October, 
Um, we'll be doing these off camera. Minecraft as well is going to be updated to 1.7 during that time, so I've been a bit lax on that uh, series lately. But um, anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'm just going to do these, and maybe the next time you'll see me, I shall be flirting with Galadriel uh, just for the kicks. Right? Okay. Uh, take care. Be nice to each other. I really hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, uh, apart, uh, ooh, apart from my uh, title, Orc Foe, I've changed it to, from any enemy of the dead. There's a lot more orcs around than uh, deads, <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll wear that for now. Alright, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.